I'm about to do your Libra November 2021 love reading. And in this reading, we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. Libra, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Libra love reading. Now, if this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you always get notified anytime I post a new Libra tarot reading for you. Now, let's get on with this Libra love reading today because today we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest for November 2021. So whoever this is that you are romantically involved with, romantically thinking about, or just romantically, energetically connected to in some way, we're going to take a look at what is going on between the two of you in the month of November 2021. And I'm going to do that by pulling one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the two of you. Then I'm going to get three cards for you, Libra, and three cards for your person. And then I'm going to clarify all of that with a second deck, just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now keep in mind that this is not a personal reading, this is a general reading, so I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person the same way I would if I were doing a personal reading for you. In fact, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can find the information about that in the description box down below. But this is a general reading, so I'm just tapping into the collective energy of the group of Libra people that I'm responsible for getting messages for. So there's no possible way this reading is going to resonate with every single Libra person on the whole planet. Because not every Libra person on the whole planet falls into the group of people that I'm reading for. So it's also important to keep in mind in general readings like this, energies can get flipped around backwards from time to time, especially for cross watchers. So if you're not a Libra and you're just watching this reading because you're interested in a Libra and you want to know what's going on with them, I'm totally cool with that. Just keep in mind that especially for cross watchers, energies are pretty prone to get flipped around backwards. So you just got to take it as it resonates. Now, regardless of how this reading whoa, resonates for you, you still probably want to check the videos for your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign, just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And you can find the links to those videos in the description down below. Now, enough talking. Let's get on with this Libra November 2021 love reading. And let's start by getting one card for what is the mutual point of interest between Libra and their romantic person of interest here in November 2021, please. Okay, let's get three cards for you, Libra. What's going on with Libra as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between the two of them here in November 2021? What's going on with Libra? Let's get two more. Okay, let's get one more for Libra for November 2021, please. Thank you. Let's get three cards for your person. What's going on with Libra's romantic person of interest as it relates to Libra and the connection between them here in November 2021? Oh, we got one flip over here. <clears throat> got it. All right. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This is a card about being walled off and defensive. Now it's also a card of healing. This is the wounded warrior and he's been hurt, hence building this wall around himself that he's got here. He's built this wall as a way to protect himself, to prevent himself from being hurt again, so he can heal, so he can get his energy right to move on and take the final step in his journey. So, that's the overall energy. We got somebody here being walled off and defensive, someone hurt, trying to protect themselves. Or some sort of a wall in the way in this connection. We've got the seven of coins right under that. This is Taurus energy. This is an energy of like taking a pause to reflect and take stock of the situation, take stock of this connection, take stock of everything that's going on between the two of you. 
And what you guys are doing is taking a look at the seeds that you have planted together here. And you're trying to decide, is this worth investing in? Is this worth continuing to invest in or reinvesting in? Is this worth putting in all your time, effort, and energy into this? Or is this maybe a spot that's not going to pan out? That's not going to grow into that 10 of pentacles that we all want. Maybe it's time to cut the losses and move on here. So this represents a period of time where one or both of you is thinking about that and contemplating those types of things, possibly having a wall up between the two of you. And we've got the three of wands right under that. This is Aries energy. This is an energy of waiting, honestly. It's, it's about like someone here has chosen the path that they believe will lead them to the world that they want. And they've started actively taking steps down that path. And they have this positive expectancy, expectancy that the thing that they're trying to manifest is actually going to appear in this physical 3D reality. It just hasn't done so yet. So this is an energy of waiting on something to happen, but having a positive expectancy that it's going to turn out the way that they want it. So that is the overall energy of the reading so far. I'm sure we will come back to that a little bit more as we move along here. But this mutual point of interest, this is shared energy between both of you. So this is an energy that is affecting both of you in some way. And the mutual point of interest between you and your person for November 2021 Libra is the Knight of Wands. Now the Knight of Wands is the second fastest moving knight in the deck. This is about rushing forward, taking rapid passionate action towards something that you have a lot of passion and desire for. Now, the Knight of Wands can sometimes be referred to as the player of the tarot deck. This is someone who has the propensity to be kind of wishy-washy. Someone who can rush in all passionately and get what they want, rush out all passionately and go somewhere else and get what they want there and kind of run back and forth, not really being able to stay in the same place for too long, not being able to keep their loyalty in one place for too long. It doesn't always have to be that but it has the possibility of being that. This could just be talking about one or both of you feeling this need to rush forward and take rapid passionate action towards something here. So let's clarify this. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands as the mutual point of interest between Libra and their romantic person of interest. Why is that the mutual point of interest in November, please? Oh, crap. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. Now, pages are messengers. Wands are about passion and desire. So this represents news and messages of passion and desire. This is also the minor arcana version of the Fool. Now, the Fool's about like throwing caution to the wind and just taking the blind leap of faith on something, not thinking it through, just saying screw it and going for it. This is a lot more toned down version of that. This is more about having the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path. And in this overall energy, we've got that three of wands here about the path already being chosen and someone already taking steps down the path, trying to manifest something. Well, here's that willingness to take the first steps down a new path. We have the lover's card right underneath that. This is Gemini energy. This is a very powerful love connection between two people. This is like divine feminine, divine masculine energy. This can be divine counterparts. A lot of times this will represent two people who are supposed to be together. So this could be telling me that there's now between the two of you some desire to rush forward toward each other passionately, have passionate news and messages going back and forth between the two of you because you're both viewing this situation as like a very powerful love connection. Viewing it as like two people who are supposed to be together and having an opportunity to do that. Now, this can also be telling me that we've got some wishy-washy bullshit going on that is affecting both of you somehow. Passionate messages going back and forth because somebody's being a player. It could be either of those two things. That could explain why we have a wall up here, why there's this period of contemplating, deciding is this even worth continuing to invest in, or should I just cut this off and move on? could be either of those two things. So hopefully this clarifies it a little more here because to clarify this Knight of Wands, we have the Chariot, we have the Six of Cups, and we have the Devil. Not feeling so great about this. This Chariot card is Cancer Energy. This is the fastest moving energy in the deck. We're clarifying the second fastest moving Knight in the deck 
And the very first clarifier is the fastest overall energy in the deck. This is about using the will to move forward very quickly past problems and challenges and obstacles, getting past all that stuff into success and victory very quickly. Now, this can also be an energy of getting in this chariot and just getting the hell out of Dodge, trying to get away from something here. Next, to clarify the Knight of Wands, we have the Six of Cups. This is the card of the past. It's Scorpio energy. This represents thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, thinking about the good old days, the way things used to be. This can represent someone from the past, someone from the past trying to make a comeback. It's directly underneath this Knight of Wands card. So if we do have some wishy-washy bullshit going on, some player type energy here where someone's trying to run back and forth between you and someone from their past or possibly you are running back and forth between your person and someone from the past it could be either of those two things based on what i'm seeing out here in your energy and their energy if i had to put money on it i would say that if we got wishy-washy bullshit going on it's your person running back and forth with someone from the past the final card to clarify this Knight of Wands is the Devil. This is Capricorn energy. This is usually a heavy toxic energy. And just to clarify this, every time I say that the Devil card is Capricorn energy, I have a Capricorn person show up in the comments giving me flames about how Capricorn people aren't toxic. And I completely agree with that statement. They're not toxic. There's no one particular sign that you can say across the board each and every one of them is toxic. I didn't create the tarot deck. I didn't decide that the devil represents Capricorn, so don't hate me for it. I'm just telling you like it is. This is Capricorn energy, and it does usually represent heavy toxic energy. Addiction, obsession. Not saying Capricorn people are bad. I'm engaged to a Capricorn woman, so I have no problem with Capricorns. But this can represent an element of your shadow an element of your person's shadow in other words something that they don't want you to see about themselves possibly something they don't want to look at themselves with unwilling to face it and because of that it creates a scenario that controls an aspect of their life if this is affecting you and some heavy toxic energy could be controlling an aspect of your life this can be a feeling of being trapped by something like you can't escape it Usually, this would represent some heavy toxic energy. It could be a karmic connection. It could be a karmic connection from the past. It could be a karmic past person showing up here, causing some sort of problem, getting passionate messages back and forth with your person. Could be any number of things. So again, this mutual energy will come back to that as we move along. But that is the mutual energy between the two of you for November 2021. Libra, your energy in this connection is the Page of Cups, Strength, and the Queen of Swords. Now, the Page of Cups, again, pages are messengers. Cups are about love and emotions. So this represents news and messages of love and emotions. This can represent the expressing of feelings. This can represent romantic offers coming in or going out it could just be news and messages of love and emotions but that's the first card in your energy so that's usually the most important card in a person's energy tell me more about this page of cups for libra please why is the page of cups here for libra okay we're taking two extras apparently totally fine with that what do we got here yeah Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. This is the Mac Daddy Master Manifester of the Tarot deck. This is someone who has all the tools, all the abilities, all the resources, everything they need to manifest or create from nothing whatever it is their will desires. He's got all four aces of all four suits on the table in front of him, so he can literally create the world around him to be in alignment with what his will desires. He's got everything he needs to manifest whatever he wants so this usually tells me that you are actively manifesting something here or someone is actively manifesting something here and it's just affecting your energy looks like what's trying to be manifested on your end is happiness the sun card is next this is leo energy 
This is the happiest card in the tarot deck. It represents happiness, joy, abundance, bliss, harmony. It's really hard to get a better card than the sun, especially in a love and relationship reading. Right under the, this usually tells me that you're viewing your person as a source of happiness in your life, like the sunshine that lights up your life. This could be telling me that you are actively manifesting your own happiness here. And we have some news and messages of love and emotions or the expressing of feelings or you're trying to manifest expressing your feelings or expressing your feelings using that as a way to manifest your happiness. Right under the sun, we have the star. This is Aquarius energy. This is a card of healing. It's a card of hope. Sometimes this is a card of wish fulfillment. It's also card 17 of the Major Arcana, which is the card that shows up immediately after the tower in the sequence of the Major Arcana cards. So you don't really ever make it to the star energy without going through a tower moment of some kind first. So when a tower happens and everything comes crumbling down all around you, sometimes it's hard to see your path moving forward from there. This is the guiding light from the universe that shows up to light the path for you so that you can see your way moving forward from here. It's where your hope comes from. It's where your healing comes from. Now, in a love reading, this can signify that you're viewing your person as a gift to you from the universe. This can be divine guidance here. This can be you viewing your person as the one for you. Could also be representative of there is some sort of a wall in the, in the way between the two of you, some sort of negative toxic energy affecting you possibly something from the past and this is you having the hope that that can be overcome now to clarify this page of cups we have strength card the wheel of fortune the emperor the ten of wands and the three of wands now the first thing i noticed is we have three major arcana cards in the story on the bottom of the deck and your first three clarifiers for this page of cups are all three major arcana cards so that's six major arcana cards here <clears throat> in the clarifying of this page of cups so this is very powerful energy here that's affecting you this strength card is leo energy this is Usually this card tells me that there is some very difficult situation that you're going through and you're being forced essentially to dig down deep and tap into your internal strength in order to make it through this difficult situation. You're having to summon up the courage to face your fears to make it through this difficult situation. Now it also tells me you do have that internal strength to make it through this. You just need it right now. Now this can also be an energy of you trying to tame this beast inside yourself, trying to rein yourself in when it comes to expressing your emotions to this person, trying to hold yourself back, trying not to rush forward too quickly and mess anything up, trying to make some kind of a mistake here, trying to stop yourself from doing that. <clears throat> Next we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing. This is the Wheel of Fate. The wheel of destiny so this can represent a fated event this can represent a change in the luck and fortune of what's going on for you in terms of expressing your emotions and news and messages of love and emotions so if things were going bad this is the wheel spinning the other way to make things go better if things were going good this can be the wheel spinning to make things start to go bad all of a sudden a lot of times for me though this represents the universe kind of turning that wheel in the background making sure things line up the way they're supposed to so that what's supposed to happen actually does happen and that's what this card usually means for me that it's kind of beyond your control right now this wheel is spinning with or without you and what's supposed to happen is going to happen and there really ain't shit you can do about it next we have the emperor this is aries energy this is another master manifester here i've got both cards of the master manifester here in your energy for November 2021 Libra. This is someone who has all the tools, abilities, and resources to put together a plan to get what they want and then to execute that plan to get what they want. This is about taking control of a situation, taking charge of a situation, and just going out and getting what you want. Then we have the Ten of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This represents a heavy burden that you're carrying now it's a 10 and in tarot tens are completions 
So this can represent the completion of that heavy burden. We've got the overall energy of the reading being the nine of wands. And this is about trying to heal and get your energy right so that you can take the final step in your journey. Well, the final step in your journey is to go from the nine to the 10. So you've got some heavy burden that you're carrying and it looks like you are, if you're not there already, you're approaching the spot now where you've carried the burden as far as you need to carry it and you're going to be able to lay this burden down and move forward without it. Now the final card to clarify this page of cups for you is the three of wands and we already saw that three of wands in the story for the overall energy of the reading. It's that energy of waiting on something. It's being at the beginning stages of manifesting what you want. Got the master manifester with the magician here. We've got another master manifester with the emperor card here. So it seems like you trying to manifest the expressing of feelings or news and messages of love and emotions, trying to get some sort of a love offer to or from your person here. It seems like that has been a heavy burden, possibly had something change in this connection that's led to someone being walled off, possibly someone being a player having some toxic stuff from their past show up has gotten in the way here. And this is you having chosen the path that you want to go down and having a positive expectancy that the thing you want is actually going to happen for you. It just hasn't manifested into this physical 3D reality yet and you're still waiting on it to happen. Now, the next card in your energy for November 2021, Libra, is Strength. We've already seen this card as the first clarifier for your page of cups again this is leo energy this represents a difficult situation that you're going through that is requiring you to tap into your internal strength you have the internal strength to make it through this could be you trying to rein yourself in trying to hold yourself back not move too quickly on something and mess anything up so tell me more about strength for libra please why is strength here for libra that one wants to come out I'm screaming at me, so we'll take it. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Now, normally this is the Sword of Victory. It's the Sword of Truth. It's the Sword of Clarity. This can be the sword that you would use to sever something in your life that's not in balance, so balance can be restored. It can also be the sword you would use to make a decision with, like the, the word decision, the Latin word that word comes from, literally means to cut off, as in to cut off any options that you have and be left with only one option. That's how you actually make a decision. This can even be the sword that you would use to sever a relationship, sever a connection, to cut someone out of your life. We've got the Page of Wands right under that. We've already seen that when we clarified this Knight of Wands. It can represent news and messages of passion and desire. It can represent the willingness to take the first steps down a new path. Uh... Queen of Cups right under that. This is Cancer energy. Now, this can represent an element of you. This can represent how you're viewing your person. This could represent another person altogether. It could represent a Cancer, a water sign, a feminine energy. If this is representing you, this is telling me that you have a lot of love and emotions for your person and you want to give your love and emotions to your person. And we've got some difficult thing going on here that could be preventing you from doing that. If I had to take a guess at it, what it's looking like is this sword is a sword that has been used to sever something in this connection. I don't know if you've swung the sword or if your person swung the sword. It looks like there's either been some clarity happen about, or some truth or some clarity happen about news and messages of passion and desire, or there has been a severing somewhere in this connection and someone else having the willingness to take steps down a new path, possibly toward a cancer. It could be either of those two situations there. So take that however it resonates for you. I'm, 
I'm feeling like it's probably not such a good thing, though, based on these clarifiers. Because to clarify strength, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. This Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. This is an energy of holding on tightly to something and not wanting to let go of it. It can also be an energy of keeping something close to your chest, as in knowing something that you're not really wanting to let the cat out of the bag. It could be that you're going through a difficult spot and you're waiting and there's this burden on you because you're trying to manifest something with this person and it could be that they severed you and took steps down a new path towards someone else and you're still wanting to hold on tightly to that. It could be you getting some clarity, some truth about passionate messages being exchanged here and that's created a difficult situation for you it's got your walls up it's got you feeling burdened and waiting to see what happens and this is you still having enough love and emotions for your person that you don't want to let go of them I'm thinking that could be it because we have the lovers next again we've already seen this it's gemini energy this is a very powerful love connection divine feminine divine masculine Two people who are divine counterparts. Two people who are probably supposed to be together and you don't want to let go of them even though something is clearly not right. It looks like you were severed in this connection at some point. That's what it looks like. It looks like you were severed. Your person took steps down a new path that led toward a cancer or a water sign or someone that they have a lot of love and emotions for. And you're wanting to hold on to this connection still, even though we've got this Five of Pentacles. This is Taurus energy. This is a card of abandonment. This is about being abandoned, about being cast aside, about being left out in the cold, walked away from. We're moving from the Four of Pentacles, progressing to the Five of Pentacles. So it looks like you were walked away from, cut off on some level, and abandoned. The final card to clarify strength is the Nine of Cups. This is Pisces energy. Usually this is a great energy for me. This is a card of wish fulfillment. The problem I'm feeling from this is this is a singles energy. This is someone who has... They don't need some external person to get their happiness from because their, their own cups are already full. Their happiness is coming from inside themselves, not from someone outside of them. Their sense of love or being loved or being worthy of love is coming from inside themselves and not from outside them, which is a great thing. This actually should be everyone's goal. I know everyone's goal in emotions and love and relationships is that Ten of Cups, that happy fairy tale connection. But in reality, this should be the goal because unless you're here and full of your own self-love and your person is also here, you're never going to make it to the Ten of Cups because one of you is always going to be trying to fill your ninth cup up by siphoning it off of the other person. When you're both in these nine full cups, that's when the cups start to overflow and that's what fills the Tenth Cup up. I'm feeling, though, like you're in a difficult situation because you were cut off, you were abandoned, you still don't want to let go of this connection, but you are single right now. The final card in your energy for November 2021, Libra, is the Queen of Swords. This is Libra energy. This is she who knows the truth. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone who's very smart and logical, and she will let you speak your truth to her. The problem is the Queen of Swords already knows the truth, so the truth you speak to her damn well better match the truth that she already knows, or she's going to use that sword to cut you. This is the sword that the Queen of Swords is carrying. So it's possible that you cut your person off and abandoned them, and that was a hard thing for you to do. That's possible. But this can represent cutting off the things or the people that are no longer in your best interests anymore. So tell me more about this Queen of Swords for Libra, please. Why is the Queen of Swords here in Libra's energy for November 2021 in this connection? I'm trying my damnedest to make this a positive reading and it just over and over and over again 
there are things that are showing up that make it not positive. Now, as soon as I say that, on the bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Again, Leo energy, happiness, joy, abundance, bliss, harmony. Hard to get a better card than that. The star right underneath that, healing, hope, wish fulfillment, divine guidance, you viewing your person as a gift to you from the universe, viewing your person as the one for you. But again, you don't make it to the star without going through a tower moment first. I don't see a tower specifically out here, but I see things that could definitely lead to a tower moment or things that would definitely follow a tower moment happening. All right, past the star card, here we go. Eight of Cups, Pisces Energy. This is a card of detachment. This is about emotional detachment, physical detachment, like physically walking away. The person in this card is walking away from eight full cups of love. And they're doing that because they know that there's something more out there for them. They know they can do better than this eight cups. Or this can be someone who thinks the grass might be greener on the other side of the fence and they're going to walk away to go find out if it is. If that's the case, usually they try to come back because the grass usually isn't greener on the other side of the fence. But if this is you walking away, this represents that you know there's something more out there for you. They, you know you deserve better than just the eight cups that you have. So this is about making the conscious decision to walk away from this, to go off down a new path that you believe will lead you to your emo own emotional happiness and fulfillment. This is about you walking off, going in search of your ninth cup and your tenth cup. Or this is about... You're viewing your person as a source of happiness, and there was some bad situation that took place. Either you severed them, or they severed you. And now you're just trying to hang on and maintain the hope that this can be healed, even though there was this detachment and this walking away. So again, it could be either of those scenarios. To clarify this Queen of Swords, we got the Four of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Now, this Four of Cups is Cancer Energy. This is a card of emotional discontentment. It's about not being happy with the cups that you've got. So much so that you're daydreaming about this other cup, this other thing that you believe will bring you more happiness and fulfillment. Now, a lot of times this can represent a love offer already being on the table between the two of you, and it just hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. It's just been left hanging here in the air. This can also represent you contemplating making a love offer to your person but not doing so yet maybe you're afraid you'll get rejected maybe you're still thinking about whatever happened in the past and the toxicity in the past the abandonment the burden that you're carrying it could be that it could be you waiting on the right timing here in order to be able to make this love offer this could be that your person has made a love offer to you and you just haven't accepted it or rejected it yet or you could just be emotionally discontent here. You want your happiness and you just don't feel like you have it all the way. Probably because of this Three of Swords. This Three of Swords is Libra energy. This is an energy of heartbreak and sadness, usually from a third energy. Now, that third energy doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic third party. It doesn't mean necessarily that you were getting cheated on, although it can definitely mean that. Anything that we humans do enough of will create its own energy. So working too much can create its energy. Playing too much can create its own energy. Too many video games, going to the bar, partying too much. Any of that stuff can be this third energy. Nosy family members, nosy friends, nosy neighbors. Somebody sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Or a romantic third party. Any of that type of stuff could be this three of swords but there is definitely some third energy involved here that's not you libra that's not your person that's causing some sort of a heartbreaking scenario causing some sort of a difficult situation that's requiring a lot of internal strength from you to get through possibly that third energy could be the reason that there was a severing here in this connection and this could just be you not being fully happy now and still thinking about that cup of love. 
The final card to clarify this Queen of Swords is the Hanged Man. This is Pisces energy. This is an energy of no forward movement, progress being halted, like things being stuck and stagnant right where they are, not being able to move things forward. Now, the Hanged Man is hanging upside down, though, because he is... He's looking at things from a different perspective than he would normally look at things from. He's looking at things from a different point of view, different angles than he would normally use. And he's doing that trying to gain enlightenment about something. He's trying to figure out how to get things unstuck and move them forward from here. But in the meantime, until he figures that out, things aren't moving forward. Now, that's your energy here in November 2021, Libra. Let me scoot this over and get some more room. Take a look at your person's energy, because in their energy, we have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Empress. Oh, snap. I'll mention that in a minute. Damn. We'll get back to that. The Knight of Swords. This is the fastest moving knight in the deck. So we've already seen the second fastest moving knight in the deck. We've already seen the fastest overall energy in the deck. Now we have the fastest knight in the deck. This is about rushing forward and speaking the truth on something. It's about rushing forward, taking rapid, like very decisive action on something. The, the Knight of Swords is not someone who screws around. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's doing. And he comes in very quickly, very decisively, taking care of business. And when it's about rushing in and speaking the truth, the truth that the Knight of Swords speaks doesn't always come out very pleasant. Sometimes it's like poorly thought out. Sometimes it just blurts it out and doesn't think it through first. Sometimes it comes off bitter or harsh or, you know, says it in a way that they could have toned it down a little bit and still told you the truth and not hurt your feelings so bad. So it can be any of those types of energies there. Tell me about this Knight of Swords for Libra's person, please. What is the Knight of Swords here? Bottom of the deck. We have the King of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. This, this is usually a very stable, grounded, kind, generous type of an energy or someone who has their finances together, someone who has their material assets, their material world in order. A lot of times this can be someone who owns a business or is an independent contractor or a manager in a business, someone who is good at managing assets and resources, managing things, building things whether that's like physically building things or like building empires, like putting together businesses, things like that. And then we have more Virgo energy right under that, the Hermit. This is, this is a card of withdrawal and isolation. It's about being forced to go internal, to do some soul searching, to do some deep inner reflection, some contemplation, trying to figure out what to do moving forward from here. It's about shining your inner light down inside, your person anyway, shining their inner light down inside themselves, looking at what's hiding in the shadows here, looking at possibly some toxic energy that they have, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Now, we just saw the hanged man in your clarifiers for your queen of swords energy here. These are two very similar things. It's about taking a look at something and trying to figure out how to move forward from here. The key difference is in the hanged man, he, this energy is looking external to himself. It's looking outside yourself at the things that are around you trying to figure out how to move forward. This is about ignoring all the things around you and looking inside, looking internally inside yourself trying to figure out how to move forward. And it looks like what they're trying to figure out how to move forward towards is the Four of Wands. This is Aries energy. Fours are about stability. So this is stability of the home life, stability of the family life, stability of the connection. This is a card of celebrations of the home. So it can represent weddings or engagements or pregnancies or births or graduations, things like that. 
It can also represent, like these four wands represent 1111, which is the number of manifestation, as in like manifesting something that you want into the physical 3D reality. So this would be a manifestation of the thing that your person wanted actually finally showing up. We've seen this under the nine of wands and this seven of pentacles, you know, taking a pause behind a wall here to reflect and see if this is what I want or should I cut my losses and move on. We've got that three of wands, that waiting on something that they want to manifest. We've seen that same three of wands in your energy, waiting on something that you're trying to manifest. Well, this is a celebration of it actually manifesting. You're not waiting anymore in this energy. It's actually here and it's celebrating that. I'm feeling more like some your person has taken a look inside themselves they they could be walled off and defensive right now not talking to you they could have isolated themselves from you doing some soul searching about the stability of what it is that they want the stability of what it is that they're trying to build here possibly making some decision on that or speaking some truth about that here with this knight of swords and to clarify the knight of swords we have the Three of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Moon. Now this Three of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. This usually represents teamwork, collaboration, working together as equals to build something of value. What you would be working together, or what your person would be working with someone here to build would be the Ten of Pentacles that maximum stability and abundance and prosperity, that stable, happy home life that we all want. Again, I'm feeling like your person is doing soul searching about how do I build this stability in my life that I want in terms of family and connections. And they're speaking the truth apparently about teamwork and collaboration with someone, possibly with you, possibly not. The next card to clarify that Knight of Swords is the King of Wands. So now, that's kind of weird that I've got two kings right here in your person's energy. Either this is two different aspects of their energy, their personality, who they are, or this could represent two different masculine energies here. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean two different men. Masculine and feminine are qualities of energy not gender so this doesn't necessarily represent two men because there are two men on the card it could just be two masculine energies a woman is able to have a masculine energy every bit as much as i am and vice versa so this is someone who knows exactly what they want and they go after what they want with bold passionate fiery determination the king of wands doesn't take no for an answer he doesn't accept excuses he doesn't let obstacles and roadblocks get in his way he barrels right through all that stuff he's the kind of person that will move mountains to get what he wants now we've got this mutual point of energy here being this knight of wands which i said can be the player of the tarot deck could be back and forth wishy-washy in and out playing two sides of the fence this king of wands even though he's a really cool person he is someone who is driven by passion driven by desire he's a sexual type person so that could have something to do with it here especially if this devil energy is your person or a part of your person's energy he could have some sort of a sexual addiction here sexual obsession it could be something of that nature too going on it could just be that your person knows exactly what they want and they're going after it and what they want is teamwork and collaboration and like building a foundation of something that can become stable and this could be them being willing to put the work in but we have more virgo energy here so i've got three virgo cards out here in the first column of cards for your person you could be dealing with a virgo you could be dealing with literally any sign i've been calling all the signs out as i see them the whole way through so you could be dealing with any sign so take it however it resonates but this is virgo energy of work like putting in the work on something putting in the time the effort and the energy working on something trying to build something that they want knowing what they want being very decisive about that possibly speaking the truth on 
teamwork and collaboration to build something and put the work in on something that they want. But then we've got the moon, and this seems to contradict everything that I just said there about speaking the truth about it. Because the moon, this is Pisces energy, this is an energy of fears and worries and anxiety, but it's also an energy of something being hidden in the dark, as in something that either your person doesn't know about, they can't see it, or something secret that they're keeping from you, and it's being hidden in the dark, and you don't know about it and can't see it. So it could be taken either way there. The next card we have in your person's energy for November 2021, Libra, is the Ace of Wands. Now, this is a passionate new beginning in something. Now, this card can also represent the male phallus and using it to be intimate. This can represent sex. This can represent a, a pregnancy, like the new a new conception. And that's kind of what I was looking at a few minutes ago when I looked like, oh, uh, and I'll mention that later. The very next card for your person is the Empress. This is the mother of the tarot deck. She's holding a baby. She's perpetually pregnant, so she represents the birth of something new. This card in and of itself can represent a pregnancy. When you have both of them, especially right next to each other, this can definitely represent a pregnancy on your person's side of the table. Now, if your person is a female, she could be pregnant. If your person is a male, he could have gotten someone pregnant. And that could be what's hidden in the dark here. I just got goosebumps really bad. Now, for, for some readers, this is enough to say pregnancy. For other readers, they also require the Page of Cups to be out here in order to say, yes, this is definitely pregnancy. And it just so happens that the very first card in your energy is the Page of Cups. So in this opening set of cards that I got out with the first deck, I've got all three cards you would need to represent a pregnancy. Also, in the mutual point of interest between the two of you, I have the card that has two children on it. So there could definitely be a pregnancy involved and whether or not that is hidden in the dark from you, I don't know, but you would. Something fishy's going on here, though. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here? Relieve this person, please. Let's get one more on this Ace of Wands, please. Oh, we'll take two. Shit. Bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles again, Virgo energy. We've already seen this card. Usually this is a generous person, someone with their money and finances in order, their material assets, their physical 3D reality in order. <sighs> Queen of Cups again, Cancer energy. When I saw this the first time on your side, this felt like another person being involved here. I've got three of swords over here, the possibility of a third party connection. I've got the possibility of that because we've got some player energy as the mutual energy. I've got someone from the past potentially, possibly a karmic connection, someone that your person possibly feels tied to and can't escape from. This card represented your person just a second ago when I clarified the Knight of Swords. Now I've got it on the bottom again with the Queen of Cups again. And the card we're clarifying is a passionate new beginning. Ace of Swords. We saw that on your side and it felt like this sword was used to sever you. Or you got some sort of clarity about what was going on. <sighs> to clarify this Ace of Wands. Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands. Swords are not such a good energy to have in a love relationship reading. It usually doesn't represent anything that you would want to have going on in your life. And you just got three of them in a row. 
with this Knight of Wands energy that we've already seen in the mutual point of interest. So now I'm convinced that this Knight of Wands energy is your person and it's affecting you. I'm sure now that your person is trying to figure out how do I move forward with someone from the past that either is toxic or that they're tied to or that they are obsessed with. To clarify this Ace of Wands, this Page of Swords, again, pages are messengers, so this represents news and messages, communication. This can be an energy of someone who's trying to learn something or trying to figure something out. It can be an energy of spying, like trying to keep an eye on somebody, keeping tabs on somebody. It can represent someone who saw the truth happen and now has news and messages about seeing the truth happen could be that your person is trying to keep something hidden in the dark from you and there's someone out there that has seen and knows about this passionate new beginning between your person and someone else that's not you <sighs> about this five of swords painful situation this is aquarius energy this is this is a conflict fives are conflicts this is a conflict that's causing a painful situation. It could be a conflict in communications, like a fight, an argument, a dispute of some kind. It could be a conflict in thinking. It could be an energy of like a, your person having a winning at all cost mentality. Like in other words, I'm going to get what I want and I don't really care if it hurts you or not. As long as I get what I want, that's all that really matters to me. So if you get hurt in the process, oh well, tough shit for you. It could be that kind of an energy. But regardless of what this is, this represents a very painful situation. Then we've got the Seven of Swords next. More Aquarius energy. This is an energy of lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking around behind your back, deceptive behavior, generally like trying to get away with something that they shouldn't be doing. Now that's not the only meaning of the card. Sometimes this can represent self-preservation as in not wanting to be hurt we've got this five of swords a painful situation you'll notice on the card the dude is stealing swords but he's only able to carry five of these swords he's trying to remove this painful situation so that he doesn't get hurt by those swords but he can only carry five swords and he's got to leave two behind so this can also be an energy of leaving something behind it could actually be all three of those energies at the same time but what this looks like to me is your person is putting in work somewhere else, someone that he's very sexually attracted to, probably acting like a player, going to someone from their past that they're obsessed with or feel very strongly tied to, having a passionate new beginning with them that's causing a painful situation and someone has seen this and has possibly given you the heads up about it they're trying to be sneaky and get away with something probably cheating and then we've got this knight of wands which again we've already seen in the mutual energy the player of the tarot deck wishy-washy in and out back and forth rushes in passionately with you gets what they want rushes out passionately with someone else here and gets what they want and gets what they want and then they try to go back and forth and play both sides of the fence, being all sneaky about it and creating a painful situation, which clearly you are dealing with. Possibly even taking it so far as to know someone in this scenario could be pregnant. Final card in your person's energy for November 2021 Libra is the Empress. This again is the mother of the tarot deck perpetually pregnant she represents the birth of something new all new things are birthed into our physical 3d reality via the empress so whenever someone's manifesting something or trying to manifest something when it actually appears it's appearing through the empress a lot of times for me she represents the birth of something new and the card we just got before that the ace of, of wands a passionate new beginning Possibly with someone from their past. Tell me more about this Empress 
relieve this person here in November 2021, please. Let's get one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. This is she who knows. Now, we saw in your energy this Queen of Swords. That's she who knows the truth. This is just she who knows. She sits in front of the Veil of Consciousness, so she's got access to all the information that you and I as humans, we don't have access to. She literally sees all. She knows all. And just about every High Priestess card I've ever seen, her eyes are closed, meaning she doesn't need her physical eyes to see what's going on because her intuition is so dialed in. She just knows. She represents the intuition. So this could be a case that someone saw this happen and told you about it. This could be a case that you already know what's going on intuitively. Maybe you don't want to accept it. Maybe you're still trying to hold on tightly. Maybe you had gut feelings and intuitive hits that something was going on and then somebody finally came and told you and verified that. That could be why we're seeing this abandonment here and you being single and this heavy burden and this difficult situation and why you decided to go into Queen of Swords mode and cut this off because there was a third party causing heartbreak and it held everything up and stuck. Could be that. kind of bizarre we've got the two of the major arcana so she rules over all the other twos of the four suits of the deck and the very next card beneath her is the two of wands aries energy a fork in the road a crossroads a decision point and it's a decision for your person about which path leads them to the world that they want and which path do they need to leave behind to get there and Eight of Swords under that. This is Gemini energy. This is thinking about something on a repeating loop in their mind, like grinding on it over and over and over again. And they're not sure what the safe step to take is, which is why they're grinding on it. And it's got them feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because they don't know what to do. And they can't quite shut their mind off about it. But it looks to me like your person has some birth something new here. Now, this could also be your person trying to rebirth the connection with you. Could be that. And you're walled off and defensive from that. I, I don't... Your person feels conflicted to me. To clarify the Empress, we have the Star, the King of Swords... And the Nine of Swords. So the star we've already seen before. Aquarius energy. So I had a lot of Virgo in your person's energy. Now I've got a lot of Aquarius showing up. I've got a lot of fire showing up in your person. We've seen quite a bit of like Pisces water sign type energy in here too. Which could be the person that they're attached to here. And feeling stuck on from their past. But this is hope. It's healing. It's wish fulfillment. Again, this is the card that comes in the sequence of the Major Arcana immediately following the Tower. So it's looking like there's definitely been a Tower moment happen. It's just that the Tower's not out here, so it's probably happened in the past. This is either your person viewing the, the new person that they're trying to birth something with as the one for them, or it's them trying to have the hope that they can heal this connection with you. Possibly trying to have the hope that they can continue right on being a player and play both sides of the fence and keep going on with the sneaky, dodgy bullshit that they're hiding in the dark. It could be both of those things. The next card to clarify the Empress is the King of Swords. Now this is, this is Gemini energy again. I've seen a lot of Gemini now. This is someone who's usually very smart, very logical, very fair, very analytical. It's also someone who's emotionally detached, though. When the King of Swords makes a decision, he does not consult his emotions when he does that. He's only looking at what he can see right in front of him. He's interested in the truth and the facts of the matter, 
And that's all he's going to use when he makes his decisions. He don't give a damn about the emotions. He don't give a damn about the story behind what's going on. He's just looking at the facts. And he's going to use that to make his decision with. Now, we also have, on your side of the energy, the Queen of Swords. So usually when you get the King and the Queen of the same suit, that represents a power couple. It represents counterparts, like two cards that are supposed to be together usually represents two people that are supposed to be together, except in the case of the sword suit. And for me, this represents two people who used to be together. So again, it's definitely been a severing, definitely been a breakup between the two of you here. And we've got the nine of swords to clarify the empress. This is more Gemini energy. This is one step up from that eight of swords we just saw a minute ago where they're looping something in their mind because they're not sure what to do and they're feeling stuck well this is past that this is fears worries anxieties like thinking about it so much that it's actually stressing them out this is mental anguish this is about like a situation that they're so afraid of that they can't really even look at it and again, that's kind of what I said about this devil energy. It's usually something that the person doesn't want you to see about them. And they don't even want to see it themselves. They're not willing to look at it themselves. So they like push it down into the shadows and repress it and try to pretend like it's not there. And when they do that, it creates a scenario where they're afraid to look at the truth. And now it's controlling a piece of them. And that looks like what has happened for your person here, your person could have someone pregnant right now. Or if your person is a female, your person could be pregnant themselves right now because they were sneaking around doing some dodgy stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. But either way, they have a lot of fears, worries, and anxieties and stress right now. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Libra love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And I'll see you in the next video.